international circles where I move and manipulate, no one thinks of me as a simple hardware dealer. But that is actually what I am. The threats of nuclear war are empty. The superpowers have too much to lose. The next world power will come from those who have nothing to lose. I will be their greatest benefactor. Before technology, a man fought to control his own destiny. But now with the right hardware, it is possible for one man to control the fate of the entire world. I am that man. to return. First on tire. You're in no position to make demands, and you've caused me enough trouble already. All right. I'm through playing games with you, Doctor. I want that chip now. Thank you, Doctor. Put this in the computer. I want to be sure our friend the Doctor hasn't tampered with it. Fine, now you have what you want. Amanda, let's get out of here. Oh, please don't go, Doctor. I have a rather special surprise for you. I'm quite sure as an archaeologist, you'll appreciate the beautiful end I have for you and your daughter. Yes, all appears to be well. You know what's interesting, Doctor? To think that over the great span of time, Someday your remains will be found in the icy tomb of the ocean's depths. Surely we can't harm you if you let us go. <laughs> yes, I admit there's little chance of it. But then it's my policy to leave nothing to chance. But she's innocent, for God's sake. You plead with me when it's your stupid blunder that's causing your daughter's death. <coughs> <coughs> We don't need him anymore. Why 
should I trust you? Blasting. No blasting on this site. Batik Masil! Batik Masil! Batik Masil! I think we have found the tomb. Ahmed, keep the down.
those who release his soul from these eternal trunk lines shall unleash a horrible evil upon this earth. Go now and leave this evil untouched. Expecting your call, you're a bit late. Everything is arranged. You'll receive the shipment as planned. Only there is one minor adjustment to our agreement. I'll have to have the payment in gold. Well, I'm sorry if it's an inconvenience, but that's the way it is. Yes, you'd use the Swiss account. I don't care about politics, Colonel. I'm a businessman. Yes, now those are the terms. You can take them or leave them. Oh, good. Good. Beautiful. I'll expect transfer this afternoon. Trouble, darling? No, just another desperate fascist haggling for a better deal. <laughs> Son of a bitch will probably be dead in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, when can we get out of here? Calm yourself, Tasha. I'm in the process right now of making an acquisition that will provide us with all the comforts and luxuries this world could afford. Doesn't that please you? Oh, you're a wonder, darling. Why have you brought the urn back to Los Angeles and will it stay here permanently? We'll leave it here on display while the experts gather and prepare to study it. Doctor, do you believe in the curse of Shohama? No. My specialty is gathering artifacts. I leave the meanings and explanations to others. You must return the urn to the tomb! Oh, the urn contains a great evil! You cannot release the evil of Shohama! <laughs> Seymour, how you doing today? I hope you're hungry. Because Uncle Ivan's here with your din din. A delicious goldfish. I hope you like it, baby. Get ready now. Here it is. Go get it. There you go, kid. Ah, you got him. That's my boy. Oh, you're terrific. Oh, that's my baby. Good old Seymour never misses. Yes, 
speaking. What? Oh, Christ, I don't believe this. How did it happen? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Slow down, will you? I can't even understand you. All right, where is it now? Oh, Jesus. No, I don't want you to handle it. I'll do that myself. I can't count on you. Just keep in touch. And for Christ's sake, don't lose track of it. Natasha, I've got something you've got to do. Sorry, miss. The museum's closed. I know, officer. I just have a little problem, and I thought you could help me. What's the problem? My little girl left her baby doll in the museum. Well, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to wait till the morning. The museum's open from 10 to 7 every day. Yes, I know, officer. It's just that she won't go to sleep without it, and she's been crying all night, and I thought that you could help me. I don't, uh... Be sure it'll only take a moment. I promise. Okay, lady. I'm just gonna have to wait for my partner just to get back. Are you sure that there's not someone else that can help you? Or no, watch no, you it's, it's me and Marty. We run the whole place. Oh. Once again, you've done for me what a dozen men could not accomplish. Ivan, darling, I wouldn't be too impressed with your little thief. I'm sure cheap tricks come to her quite easily. Who would know better than you how easy it is to deceive a man, dear? <laughs> you too. <coughs> 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 I can hardly breathe and still I smoke. Why don't you give it up? It's a nasty habit. Speaking of nasty habits. Well, you might as well smoke, dear, because she'll kill you before the cigarettes will. <clears throat> this is the end of the Pharaoh Shahamad. A feared and ruthless ruler. He was so evil that upon his death, his corpse was burned to ashes and committed to this sacred urn. A prison of sorts for his venomous soul. Is it worth anything? <laughs> right to the point, aren't you, Martina? Well, to those who value history, its worth is immeasurable. It's priceless. Let's open it. 
Ah, Natasha. You know, your enthusiasm is always refreshing. You do make a wonderful companion. Look again, Ivan. It must be there. It's not here, I tell you. Natasha, where is it? What? What are you talking about? The goddamn microchip. The government agent put it in the urn. Now where the hell is it? Unless someone stole it. You bitch, I stole nothing. You are a thief. All right, enough of this cat fight. Both of you. Now hear me and hear me good. I sent my men to the airport to intercept a microchip from a government agent. They failed. Now it's a matter of vital importance that we get that chip as quickly as possible. So then where the hell is it? That I don't know. But what I do know is if the Navy gets to it before we do, we've lost any chance of ever getting it. Martina. Get that moron Valder on the telephone. Perhaps he might be of some use after all. No one was supposed to get hurt. Noble sentiment. Often difficult in practice. Don't play games with me. Well, now, that's an interesting statement. Coming from a man who spent so many years as a double agent in his ancestral homeland. That's a lie. Calm yourself, Mr. Valdez. Calm yourself. If I may borrow your phrase, let's not play games. You came to America as a boy for schooling. And your background has served you well in your career in North African intelligence, has it not? Listen, you have killed an American government agent. I am not going to get involved. Do you understand? You are most assuredly involved, Mr. Valdez. If you should fail to cooperate now, I'm quite certain your, shall we say, activities would come to light with rather disastrous results for your people and your career. That's blackmail. You wanted to see me, sir? What the hell is going on around here, McKinley? Well, the police and the press think it's a terrorist attack. Other than the obvious, there's nothing. There's no prints, there's nothing. Listen, David, I need you to handle this for me. Just keep a low profile, okay? I don't want too much of a roar over this thing. And keep the press out of it. Well, yes, sir, but there's no buts. Just keep me informed. I'll take care of all the heat on this end, okay? David, get to the bottom of this. Make us all look good. Yes, sir. Dr. Faraday? Yes. What do you want? I'm sorry if I startled you. I'm David McKinley. I'm with the Cultural Affairs Department. Oh, yes, of course. Matt? I really must apologize, but uh, I've been feeling out of sorts with this business with the urn. Well, like I told your associates, uh, I really don't have anything to say. My associates? Yes, the two men who came to the museum. They seem very interested in the urn. And what were their names? I don't know. I really don't recall. Just a couple of questions, Doctor. First of all, do you have any idea who stole the urn? Yeah, a lot of lunatics in Los Angeles. How about those protesters at the airport? Did you recognize any of them at all? No. I was more concerned with safekeeping of the urn. I've seen one generation after another of various groups protesting things they know little about. I tend to ignore them. Anything at all? Uh, speech, mannerisms, uh, clothing? There is this legend. It's more of a story, actually. That the followers of Pharaoh Shohanan were commanded by their gods to guard the urn. And are their descendants still around? I mean, people who still believe it's their responsibility to protect the urn? 
I would imagine some of them are still around, yes. Lieutenant Gerald, this is Stiles. We're with Mid East Intelligence. We're told you've been assigned to find the urn stolen last night from the museum. Yeah, that's right. Look, McKinley, the Egyptian government is leaning on us, and we don't have much time. Now our people have a head start, and they'll be able to wrap things up quickly. So we want you to hold off on your investigation. Well, I can't just drop it. McKinley, this is Commander Nail. Kenley? We're just finishing up right now, sir. Don't worry, McKinley. We'll keep you informed. Well, wait. How am I going to contact you? Look, we will be in touch with you. Sir, about the airport incident. Shut up! The next time one of you idiots tries to give me an excuse, you're going to be doing field work in Beirut. What does the kid know? Not a thing. Where's Neely? Um, it's his anniversary, sir, and I said I'd cover for him. Great. Okay, where do we stand? We searched Johnson's body, sir, at the airport. It wasn't on him. What about the urn? We checked it at the museum. Nothing. The archaeologist didn't know anything. We don't have much time. We've got to find that chip before it leaves the country. Now I want some answers. You guys have got 48 hours. So what's this? And with any luck, a diversion. A distraction. This little pyramid is the sacred symbol of the Jehovahites. Guardians of the urn. I hope to use it to throw the hounds off the trail. So that's where you sent Natasha. Quite right. Those bunglers from the Department of Cultural Affairs are bound to run across the microchip. Unless I set up some sort of a distraction. And what next? Well, we don't have much time. I already told the buyers it was in our possession. Why don't you just tell them we need more time? <laughs> It'd be easy to bargain with the devil. No, there's no alternative. We either deliver the chip, or they destroy us. What do you mean by that? Just came from Valdir's office. So? He wants me to do the investigation on that Navy pilot that got blown away. Really? Really. It's not an easy case. And there's no leads, no possible motives. The police think it's terrorists. Terrorists here? Looks that way. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. You know, I'm going to need some help on this. Who do we have? You know, I heard about this guy who works independently. Yeah? He's got more experience and connections at dealing with this kind of thing than any of our people. It might be worth giving him a call. You always say that, Jason.
You're Jason Caldwell? Who are you and how'd you find me? I'm David McKinley. This is Tracy Contreras. I'm with the Department of Cultural Affairs. Since when they start recruiting snap nose brats? I guess since I started retiring old drunks. They don't retire me, I retire. Well, now that we've taken care of all these preliminaries, what do you want? A couple of days ago, an Egyptian artifact, an urn, was stolen from the museum. Two guards were shot. Yeah. I think I read something about that, so what? Well, I've been assigned to retrieve it. What do you want from me? No, don't tell me. It was your first assignment, you're scared shitless. There's more to it than that. A naval intelligence officer was killed, shot in his driveway. Now, you have experience in Mideast affairs. We believe a religious fanatic group is responsible for the murders and the theft of the urn. What the hell does that have to do with me? We need your expertise. Uh, forget it, kid. I need a break. Well, if you'd rather sit around drunk than help out your country. Don't wave that goddamn flag at me. I wouldn't have come if it weren't important. Hey, kid! I'll tell you what. I'll think about it. But don't count on it. See the file. Thanks, pal. Mm -hmm. I want to see the scar. Just like that? Just like that. I haven't heard any new information from you yet. Uh, no, sir. We're working on that right now. Who's he? Mr. Valdez, this is Jason Caldwell. He's an expert in dealing with this kind of thing, and he's going to help us find some answers. Is that so? Oh. How come I haven't heard your name around here before, Mr... Caldwell. Caldwell. My file's available. Is that so? Well, we're glad to have you on board, Mr. Caldwell. I hope you can put a stop to these killings. The word is it's uh, terrorists. What do you think? Well, I'll have to check out a couple of things, and then I'll let you know. Well, I guess I'll let you folks get back to work, okay? Goodbye, goodbye. What's that? The last pyramid. Probably belonged to his kid or something. Those poor kids. 
Well, the reports will be in by this evening. I want to see this guy's file. Okay. Jesus. Give it time to kill me. We just started. Yeah, I guess so. Are you completely naive to the natural process of power? Distortion has been used to great advantage since the dawn of civilization. Long before superficially moral cultures put foolish names upon it. Well, there can be no more killing. Matter of fact, you are the one most responsible for the killing of the American agent. What is that supposed to mean? Simply that you were requested to delay the investigation of the missing guy. To give us time to collect it without interference. That agent was much too close. There was no alternative but to eliminate him. He was not under my jurisdiction. <laughs> too bad for him and for us. But you are about to be responsible for even more deaths. Even those who are under your authority are getting dangerously close. David McKinnon. Okay, maybe I did choose someone who had too little experience. He panicked. He started looking for help. I see. Well, now do you have the information that I've requested? If you do, I'll be on my way. And we'll try to avoid your investigators. But I must warn you, you are responsible to keep anybody out of my way. Even if it means more drastic action. And you are a bastard. <laughs> Quite so, sir. Now, do you have the information? a slow leak. Do you have a spare? I don't know. I'll have to check. You know, it's really nice of you to help me. People are here seem so unfriendly. It's no problem. I used to be a Boy Scout. But you're a good one, too. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. My keys in my car. What? Wouldn't you know it? I've had such bad luck, and I've only been here a week. Do you know where there's a telephone? Uh, actually, I'm done here for the day, so I could drop you somewhere? No, I couldn't ask you to do that. No, I want to. I mean, it's no problem at all, you being new in town and all. Really? It's so nice of you. It's my pleasure. My name's David. Hello, uh, David. I'm Natalie.
Rusty? I can't move. No, that wasn't so painful. I think I'm in heaven. Well, maybe you will be. You've been a very good boy. Don't answer that. No argument for me. What's wrong? David! Nothing. I've got to get that. Um, let me get rid of her. She's useless to us. I'll buy us a breathing down my neck. One more mistake and we're all through. Do you understand that? I'll go back and I'll take care of him right away. I won't fail you, Ivan. No, forget him. Right now it's the Navy person that we've got to take care of. And you've got to do it. Finish them off. Go in the stand. With the two of you, it's a wonder I'm still alive. Now go, Natasha. And this time, no mistakes. You can make yourself useful, too. Go get me a drink. you guys from national security Did you find anything yet nothing that makes any sense no prints no hair no clothing fragments nothing what about that strange smell it's the damnedest thing i've ever seen what do you mean some kind of poison gas but it's nothing that i've ever smelled before and look at this guy's skin
has left a strange little pyramid. I want you to take a look at it. In one of the bodies, there was odor, this gas. It smelled like roses, only sweeter. He was sleeping like a baby. Is there any connection here? It could be. I need some time to check on something. How soon can you do it? Come back tomorrow. And Jason, please be very careful. Right. Look, I'm in a rush now. Tomorrow when I come, I'll break a little bread, have some wine, okay? Okay. Thanks, buddy. Mr. Belder. There's a man who's interfering with our objective. His name is Jason Caldwell. He hasn't violated our people as of yet, but I'd like you to discourage him from any further involvement or interference. I'll personally take care of the matter. anniversary, Lieutenant. I guess it just might be your last one. Who is this? Just a concerned friend. Who was that, babe? That was weird. Come on, let's go. so that you don't find the chip before I do. What are you talking about? You guys can get him out of here now. Now, leaving these pyramids by the bodies is obviously some kind of threat. It could be the Shahamanites. There's been a lot of press about them lately. They probably believe by protecting the earth they are living out a sacred destiny. They most likely will keep killing until the earth is safe. But there is another possibility. Someone wants you to think the fanatics are responsible for the killings. H speaking. What? Oh, you don't mean that. Oh, yes, you'll have it very soon. I'm sorry about the delay. I, I know, I know. I received payment. I'm aware of that. I'm telling you, you've got to take my word. You know my word is good. I wouldn't dream of double-crossing people like you. You must know that. Please, give me a little more time. You'll have it, I'm sure, very, very soon. Yes, yes, I promise. Thank you. Don't worry. My 
Martina! Martina, come here at once. Sit down. We got a problem. I've just been down to records and ballistics. The evidence and files have disappeared. That means we got a security problem. Could be you, but I doubt it. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What does this have to do with the missing urn? It's not about the Pharaoh's urn. Never has been. It's about long-range nuclear missiles. More specifically, GMP. Guided Missile Programming. A microchip. What? We've known for a long time that third world countries have the ability to produce nuclear weapons. What they don't have is the technology to program nuclear warheads for long-range strikes. One of these countries has contacted an arms dealer to obtain the programming microchip. And with this chip, they can target the United States? Or the Soviets. Or more likely, Israel. If they get that chip, the entire world could be held hostage to some third world religious fanatic. Excuse me, but why are you telling me all this now? Because we have a security leak. From now on, you report directly to me. If you get any lead on that chip, come to me. And what about my boss? Like I said, we've got a leak. So, Mr. Caldwell, is there any other information that you think I ought to know about? This is my department. There's, uh... Not much to go on right now. But when there is, uh, you'll be the first to know. Very good. I'd like to put a stop to these killings before it gets any worse. Yeah, so would I. See ya. Clearance code 185L9. Caldwell J. Address for Valdir Robert, National Security Branch. Address for Robert Valdir, 1735 Pond View Avenue, Cheviot Hills. Oh, Mr. Valdir! Mr. Valdir! Mr. Valdir! I'm in a hurry, McKinley. What do you want? It's about the investigation, sir. Mr. Caldwell and I... Your Mr. Caldwell has caused nothing but trouble. I thought you were ready for this case. What happened, McKinley? I am ready, sir. And you... You gave your security code to Caldwell, didn't you? There's a security leak in the department, and there's three agents dead as a result. Now, both of you come with me, and maybe you'll learn something. Come on. Why is he looking so worried? Why wouldn't I be worried? I still don't know where that goddamn chip is. If I don't locate it, I may forfeit my life. Well, it must be the archaeologist. That is a possibility. Perhaps the good doctor has other interests besides ancient artifacts. Yeah, but why would he want it? To make an exchange for his precious urn. <laughs> but you've already smashed that to pieces. Yes, but he doesn't know that. We've got to find something of greater value to the good doctor. What could that be? Doesn't he have a daughter?
know you're there. I'll have Tracy McKinley at the warehouse on 10th and Van Nuys Boulevard. If you ever want to see him again, I suggest you be there. Tracy, please. Jason is the one who picked this place. We're just waiting for him to arrive. Normally, we would be going to... This is not a normal situation, Mr. McKinley. Well, what do you want with us? It's not you I'm interested in. It's Caldwell. What for? Jason, look out! Step out, Mr. Caldwell. Then I can see your face twist in anguish when I pull this trigger. Jason. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Files closed. No, it's not, Jason. Oh, this for me. We've gone as far down this road as we can go without going right to the top. Hey, there's more to it than that, Jason. There's always more to it, kid. That herd is long gone. These days they fight for a stalemate. That's what we got here, a stalemate. Be grateful. Now, look, Jason. Hey, look, kid. You're not going to catch that top dog, believe me. The best you can hope for now is the satisfaction of knowing you're right. It ain't worth it, believe me. It ain't worth it. So you're telling us just to give up? What do you want from me? Jason, there's something you should know. Shohamanzerun is just a front. 
A naval intelligence agent found a microchip that was being taken out of the country. He was killed at the airport. And those other agents were killed for the same reason. A Valdir sold out to an arms dealer. And we can't just quit now. All right. What are you gonna do? Well, find the arms dealer. What else is there? That archaeologist, uh, what's his name? Faraday. Faraday. It all began with him. Hello. Hello, doctor. Who is this? Well, for now, just think of me as a friend. What do you want? You have something of mine, doctor. I'd like it back. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, let's stop this charade. You know very well what I'm talking about, the chip. I'd like to propose a trade. I wouldn't be that sure of that if I were you, doctor. I have many things in my possession that would tempt even the wealthiest among us to trade their fortunes. For instance, I've just acquired a beautiful woman. A young girl, in fact. I know she'd interest you. You're sick. <laughs> yes, that might be quite right. But a bit beside the point. Let me describe this girl to you. She's perhaps 18 years old, with soft, supple skin, raven eyes, the voice of a siren. I'm sure one word from her, and you'll agree to the worth of my proposal. Dad! Amanda? Amanda! You son of a bitch, I'll... Oh, my God. It's refreshing to know there are still some men who value life over the allure of riches. Myself, I don't happen to know many. If you hurt her, I swear... You'll do nothing. You'll bring me my property undamaged. Now, pay attention to this. There's a warehouse at the end of Pier 19 near the canneries. You'll have till this afternoon... Remember, if you don't bring me my chip, you'll never see your daughter again. Please, you've got to believe me. My father would never steal anything. It must be a mistake. You would. May I ask where you're going? None of your business. I haven't time for your questions. Okay? It's funny. The urine you spent years of your life trying to find is stolen, and six men are dead as a result. You don't seem to give a damn. And before I leave here today, I'm going to find out why. No, you can't. It's almost over, for God's sakes. I must go. Tell me. I can help. No, you can't. Why? You must promise not to interfere. Why? Because they have my daughter. There was something in the urn, a chip, a microchip. I realized I should have gone to the police. There was a lot of money involved. Ah, so you decided to sell it to whoever was looking for it? No. Yes, I don't know what I thought. But now they have my daughter. And I must give it to them, so please, don't interfere.
Amanda! Don't hurt him! All in good time, Doctor. All in good time. First, I think you have something of mine you'd like to return. First, untie her. You're in no position to make demands. And you've caused me enough trouble already. games with you, Doctor. I want that chip now. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Put this in the computer. I want to be sure our friend the Doctor hasn't tampered with it. Now you have what you want. Amanda, let's get out of here. Oh, please don't go, Doctor. I have a rather special surprise for you. I'm quite sure as an archaeologist, you'll appreciate the beautiful end I have for you and your daughter. Yes, all appears to be well. You know what's interesting, Doctor? think that over the great span of time, someday your remains will be found in the icy tomb of the ocean's depths. Surely we can't harm you if you let us go. <laughs> yes, I admit there's little chance of it. But then it's my policy to leave nothing to chance. But she's innocent, for God's sake. You plead with me when it's your stupid blunder that's causing your daughter to death. <coughs> 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 Leveraged buyout. 
Get the chips, Stephen. Martina, I can't believe you're doing this. I've taken good care of you. I've always treated you well. You taught me well, old man. I'll always be kind to you. The chip, Ivan. It's, it's in the computer. Now listen to me, my friend. The way she's betraying me now is what she'll do to you one day. Now you and I have made a lot of money together. Can't we continue our old business arrangement? Kill him now, Stephen. Wrapped the bastard. Under control, McKinley. Ten hit. What are you doing? He's one of them. Uh -oh.